during our normal herd check and something was wrong with Dunbar's eye. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison, and welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys for watching us. We are bison ranching today. So uh, we're gonna do something new. <laughs> I know I say that probably quite a bit because you know when when you're within your first five years of bison ranching, there's a lot of first time things that happen, and 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 some of you that are bison ranchers that have been bison ranchers or are gonna be bison ranchers. We hope we we need some more of you out there. Would love to have more. Okay, okay. These hens are so loud. I'm gonna walk out here a little bit more and get away from them hens. But uh, so my point is, you've had a lot of these first time things happen. When you got bison, you never know what you're, uh, you're gonna get into, right? Marissa and I did a little simple herd check yesterday. Uh, it's a daily thing that we do, right? We, we always check our bison on a daily basis. Check the Big Joe herd. Uh, gave them some cubes. It's hot and dry right now. We're in a hardcore drought. Once again, third summer in a row. Nothing new. But then what we did, went to the Dunbar herd. We pulled up there and of course, we always want to find Dunbar and we want to find Hoss. Those are the first two that we, I mean, besides the females. And uh, now that there's calves in there, uh, we want to check on them first. Those are kind of our, our primary focus. Where's Dunbar? Where's Hoss? and then we count the rest and check all of everybody else. But Marissa and I pulled up uh, into the Dunbar herd yesterday during our normal herd check and it quickly, quickly noticed something was wrong with Dunbar's eye. I have never really seen this before. Uh, it was kind of glazed over. It was his left eye. It had a blue hint to it, like uh, almost like a husky with the blue eyes or an Australian shepherd with those blue eyes. And, um, and, and their eyes aren't that color. And so it looked, I mean, it was quick. Marissa and I both saw it at the same time when we looked at each other like, oh no. So initially, we get worried. So knowing us, first thing we do, I pick up my phone, got him on uh, favorites, and that's uh, Doc Parsons, the vet, uh, our bison vet up at Stratford Animal Hospital. The guy I always call when I run into these first time situation kind of things. And uh, hey doc, what's going on here? Explain to him, I actually sent him some pictures of Dunbar and we were got, getting worried about him. His right eye was completely fine, but his left eye looked like it was struggling. Quick version, doc said he probably got it gouged. He got it hurt somehow, poked, damaged, and, and it had some drainage too. The next thing we, we did is uh, after we called him, he said, uh, he said, you're gonna have to get him up you're gonna have to get him up and you're gonna have to give him some Draxon. And I think Draxon is a very uh, strong antibiotic. And um, we don't give our animals antibiotics unless there's an infection or there's a, something that's happened to them. And of course, you know, we had to give antibiotics to our Texas cow because obviously she had a dead calf in her. Some things could happen and uh, we wanted to save her life basically. So we had to give her antibiotics. Doc said, well, you gotta give him some of this and it'll help him. And uh, the day before, Marissa did a herd check and didn't see anything. So um, he damaged it within the 24 hours that we had uh, showed up. We got on it pretty fast, which was a good thing. And so what we did was uh, after he said, you got to get some Jackson in, I said, well, we can't, we can't bring them up to our handling facility, right? Up in here uh, where we load out and, and it works great for loadout, but we don't have a squeeze chute here yet. However, it's going to be very hard to get Dunbar in the very back pasture, hay meta, all the way up to the front. It's gonna be very difficult to do. What we decided to do is Marissa and I went to a local feed store. We picked up a dart gun. And I've probably should have purchased this a long time ago, uh, but they're kind of expensive. They're about $400. And then you have to buy the darts, which are, uh, you know, a pack of forums about $30 too. So, and then you have to get the medication and Draxon, you have to have a prescription for now. Got a prescription, I got 10 cc's of Draxon, and uh, Doc said, that's what you need to give him. And I asked him, I said, what about a dart gun? He said, yeah, if you got one, use one. Hey, and uh, he said, that'd be a lot easier, and you can reduce the stress too. If you watched our uh, paintball, sort of uh, a flower repellent medication treatment, it worked great. Those animals didn't even realize what hit them. Now, we went and got the gun. Marissa's gonna come help me, and we're gonna go over 
to the Dunbar herd right now. It's gonna be a first time using a start gun, so it should be interesting, but I think it's something that we could use in the future. Here comes Marissa. So this is a pump version. They make a 22 round version of this um, by New Dart. And um, we just got the pump version because Doc said if you can, if you can shoot up close, this is the best way. 22 is mainly for, the 22 version of this is mainly for uh, longer shots. So first time using, I gotta study a little bit. We're gonna go to the Dunbar herd and then we'll inject this dart because it has to stay cool, the Jackson does. Um, so we gotta keep it cool. When we get out there, we'll load our dart and then we'll go. But for now, I'm gonna do a couple practice shots real quick. Doc said we need to do 10 cc's, just like a syringe. We need to get 10 cc's of this Draxon. We'll take our vaccination. I have it in another syringe. We'll take it and we'll put, you have to have this certain needle to put into the dart. But uh, we needed 10 cc's. Still Water Millen didn't have a 10 cc. So the biggest that we got is a seven cc. And uh, then we're gonna basically make up the difference for with a three cc. So we'll get our full 10 here. So one dart with seven cc's of Draxon, the antibiotic, and then three cc's here using the, the new dart. All right, so what we've got here is a practice dart. Um, I've got one in the chamber right now. And since I've never shot one, I'm gonna go ahead and use these practice darts that came with it. I think it came with six. Pump it up a little more. Pump it up a little more. Four pumps. That one's stuck. Well, good thing they have practice starts. <laughs> All right, so now we are in uh, the hay meta and uh, they're probably shaded up right now because it is hot. We gotta have this needle basically to fit down into our dart. So we're gonna get our dart. This is a seven cc dart. The only bad part about these darts is they're one and done basically. So we've got our vaccination here, 10 cc's of Draxon. We're gonna switch the heads on this. And we're gonna fill this up. All right, now we've got our dart loaded. We got roughly about seven cc's. So remember, I'll have to use two darts because the, the biggest that they had um, at the local feed store was the seven cc uh, with the long needle here. So um, we've got it loaded and ready to go. Marissa's gonna uh, keep the door open here and spread some cubes out for us. Get them lined up. And then what we'll do is we'll go back, find Dunbar, and we'll have to shoot him with a load here and then the rest in that other one. Let's give it a try. Yeah, on, safety. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, babe. Me and not by the hair on my chin, chin, chin. I'm washing it. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. We'll cock that back when we get over there. We're ready. It's a family adventure today. Oh, they're down there. I see them. They're over here. A couple of them are running. Fifteen oh seven. Queen. I'm on, buddy. Marissa's ready to go. We'll, we'll pour some out when they get here. He's on his way. Here he is. He's coming. So there's the eye. See it's still glazed over. A little damage. Got some drainage. Hey, bud. All right, you got it. 
got it open and ready, huh? Looks like it hurts. This spot, this eye is all good. Come on, buddy. Okay, that's where we're gonna shoot him, is our target, it's right there on that hip. Well, yeah, I guess I can. Yeah, here. Now he's not happy. It's a slow injection um, dart and it should fall off at some point. It's all right, buddy. You don't like it. Man. It'll fall and then we'll have to try to pick it up. Go try to pull it out, Marissa. No. So that's only seven cc's. We've got to give him one more. Are you gonna do another seven? We'll, then? we'll do it on the other hip. Maybe let's give him some cubes, and that'll chill him out a little bit. And let's focus to see if that thing falls out and where it does, so we can pick it up. Okay. Give him some cubes. Go ahead, hon. If you want to spread some out. Here come the rest of them. So here come the rest of them. Go ahead and do a full bag. Doctoring him up. Okay, hon, hold off. Okay, go a little more, hon. It's okay. There, there's, there's some coming. Woo! Right here. Check that back. Need to save any? Maybe just save a little in case we need it. Is that good, hon? Yeah. Okay, let's drive back over here. I'm not, I'm not sure why I left my door open, but. All right, so they're all spread out here. Let's go back and find him. Okay, so there he is. Let's see if we can go up here and maybe pour some out and get him to stay, but he may run all the rest of them off. I gotta load this other one real quick. Probably should have already had it loaded, but it's all right. Here. It's all right. Let's, we're gonna shoot the other hip. Let's go ahead and get this put in there. Pump it up. So 
We got our three cc to fill our seven cc's of this antibiotic. It's a very strong antibiotic. It's very expensive and can't get it over the counter anymore. So it's a hot commodity, basically. Ready to go? Down there. Okay. It's on safety. Let's go down there. Get a little closer to him. We're gonna get him on that other hip though. Where I locked him. You got some juice left on? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's give him some. Okay. Okay, that he'll dominate that pile. So we'll go to this other side where I can get a shot on his hip here. The other one fell out? No. Yeah, I see it. Perfect. Oh, you do? Where yeah, did it fall? I see it fell. We're going to let him chill out. Where did it fall at, hon? you wish. All right. Let's wait for the other one to fall out. Nice job. Look at little red dog. Doesn't that guy still bothering in him? He's not happy with me, but. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it right there. I kind of wanted to hit him more like, I don't know, I can't really show it to you, a little higher, but. Let's check and see if he's. That's a good observation. I not. Yeah, and it seemed like it stayed in there longer. Yeah, that's a good observation. Never used it, so it's learning, but I like it. Hopefully I hit him in the right spot where Doc told me to. I kind of wanted to hit it a little bit higher, kind of right there in that. Huh? He has a little butt. He's got a little bony butt, but if I could have hit him using this female right here, if I could have hit him in that spot right there it'd have been a little bit better kind of right in that fat area right there i think that's where i should have hit but a little nerve-wracking shooting your own bison look at the little guy oh my gosh he's so tiny yeah it needs to be hot pink for sure and it's this one's a lot smaller, so. Oh, it is. Like shorter. Or yeah, it's shorter, so it's going to be even harder to see. Oh, man. Took off. I'd really like to find, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Not seeing it anywhere. 
they've heavily grazed this area. It must have been more tender grass here on the edge of this hay meadow. You can see the other grass. It's tall and doing well. Okay, yep, go where they are, right in here, hun. Yeah, doing good. Dunbar seems to be doing okay, though. He's probably a little upset at me, but hopefully the Draxon works. Hey, stop a second if you would. So uh, most people, like on a cow, you would shoot them right there between the neck and the shoulder, like we would give them a normal uh, wormer in that area, like right here, we'll use her as a reference, like right in that area where the neck meets the, uh, the shoulder. They've got lots of hair right there in that shoulder area and neck area where they kind of transition. It transitions to their uh, shoulder. And uh, that's the best place for vaccinations, whether you're going under the skin or subcutaneously. In this situation, um, we can't go there. That would be the ideal place, but we have to go in the, the hip. Um, so that, that's why we had to shoot that way. And Doc said too, so do what the Doc says. All right, well, couldn't find the uh, short dart, the 3cc. It's one of those things I may have to find later. And uh, the, the needle on it, it, it's a hard metal needle. It's not one of those normal syringe needles. So uh, if they do step on it, it won't go in them very far. Hopefully they don't. Um, I guess that's probably the only downfall of, of, a, of the dart gun is you have to retrieve the dart. We got the long one, but we can't find the short one. So uh, that thing will come in handy. I, I luckily haven't had to use it, but in this case, Dunbar needed it and we needed to kind of act fast. So basically a little over 24 hours, we were able to get the drug. We were able to get a gun and get the darts and get it, get some of that antibiotics in him. He seems to be fine. He's over there on the hill, um, but uh, should be wrapping up breeding season pretty soon. Sorry, I'm looking around uh, since I'm out here in this area to see if I see it. Probably not going to find it, but um, it's a good thing. We still have this tall grass and these guys are I needing it so um it's dry and stuff they basically aren't wanting it so they're hungry for cubes right now with the drought going on so anyways uh did an injection in both hips um just to rotate it i, I kind of learned that from doc if you if you're if you're doctoring one up you you may put 10 cc's on a shoulder and 10 cc's on the other you don't want to overdo it on one side so um that's kind of why i shot uh both hips but hopefully it did a good job of an injection and uh, we'll get him taken care of. We will keep you updated on Dunbar's eye. Hopefully uh, it recovers and he's, he's doing okay. His mannerisms and stuff seem to be okay. So I can't, I can't, I'm not too worried about that. Like it's a, a you know, it's something more than what we're dealing with. It's, uh, it seems just like according to Doc, he had a damaged eye. So if that's all it is, then we're in good shape. So anyways. Thank you guys for Bison Ranching with us today. Brooks and Marissa for the help today. See you guys soon.